the Ukraine is super rich in talents, in tech talents, and we have more than 200 thousand people working in the industry with more than 2,500 um, outsourcing companies which are uh, the perfect place where they can learn and then they can, uh, I hope so, uh, to drive to IT entrepreneurship and uh, try different challenges. Let's imagine that if only 1-2% of those who are active in the outsourcing industry will start their businesses, so will initiate startups, so the quality of the Ukrainian startups, which is more than 2,000, will double. In a couple of years, so that makes a lot of sense. We have an example of Israel, which is in the status of war for many years. It's a good example for us just not to be afraid and to do our best to support Ukrainian startups, which continue to work and develop their businesses in Ukraine. We also uh, learned today, actually, got the proposal how to boost our IT and startup ecosystem by creating funds. This is actually what had been done in Israel 15 years ago. And uh, of course, this helped to attract capital in the Ukrainian venture capital funds, would help to, uh, to actually bridge the low liquidity as we have in Ukraine because everybody aware that uh, money chasing uh, talent and startups. We have a talent, we have startups, but we still have not enough venture capital to deploy it in Ukrainian startups. So it's very important to create the vehicles uh, to create capital in the Ukrainian already existing funds, launch uh, new VC funds.